as well. There's another game I'm more looking forward to, though. And we got a state of play showing off official gameplay of Avalanche Studios' own Hogwarts Legacy. Did everybody get a chance to see this? Yes. Yup. The one thing that surprised me, there was another studio name in there. Yeah, Port Key Games. And which they made were the mobile, one of the mobile Harry Potter games. And what was also weird is when you saw the Hogwarts Legacy logo, it says Port Key Games mm -hmm. in the logo. I'm like, so wait, who's developing this game? Like, like Avalanche didn't get in the title card. <laughs> That's fair. It, they might be doing like a co-developed type of thing, but yeah, it was weird that you their would, name. But you would think they show both the names, title. though, right? Yeah. Like if I was the head of Avalanche, I'd be like, I need my name in the title. Like, <laughs> I, I was shocked by that. I was not expecting that, but I was like, okay, like before. Yeah, before we go into this, like, uh -huh. I, how can you go from doing? I mean, I guess Ben could give us a little bit more perspective on this, but like. You're doing iOS games, and then Avalanche Games we we talked about before did the Cars game on Switch. Mm -hmm. How do you Bunch go from Disney that games. to doing something like this? Hiring, I mean, I mean, obviously Ben would have deeper knowledge into it, of course, but I would but assume this, hiring talent one. Yeah, but two dang, probably letting so go. Of, yeah, but I, mean, I feel like if you hire the right people and get the right people in charge, I feel like you can turn any studio into what it would need to be to do this mm -hmm. i mean i guess who, who knows they may have hired the person in charge that was the second man behind um uh guy from mccory barlock they might have hired his you know you know what i mean like who knows who they hired who i know they, they let go i know they let go of a director due to controversial reasons that we will avoid but they i think they let go of a, one of the directors who was originally on the game he was on call the um last stand media he was on last stand media kind of talking about it Hmm. Um, so they hired and fired many people in the process of making this game. Um, but yeah, they, and like Ben said, um, they made Disney infinity, which was okay, a which big, that's a big, that's a big project. Yeah. And it was good. It and was, was a good, good game. Yeah. It was yeah. very well received, had good gameplay. Yeah. So I, I don't think okay. saying they're a trash developer that only makes cars games is, you know, I don't think that's fair to them first. I know you weren't saying that Cole. No, but I don't know. You know, I mean, I was saying that. But that, but that is kind of the narrative. Wear. You're going that's, from a shovelware studio to like this, right. but Disney Infinity. So that's solid. I didn't know that. That makes me feel better. But and look, what also made me feel better is just watching this like preview. Yes. Unbelievable! Are you kidding me? Twi like oh, like what? 15, 15 minutes we got to see. Yeah. This, I, I was captivated the whole time. Like it's been a while since I was watching like a game preview. I, can't Just, I couldn't it. take my eyes off the screen. I'm like, it's are very, you serious? Yeah, it's very rare for a game to deliver like this did in its presentation. Mm -hmm. The presentation the last, was so good. Yes. The last time mm -hmm. I remember a game doing this to me was Spider Man. The first time I saw Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. I was like, you got to be kidding me! Like. Because I I always accepted that you know Spider Man Web of Shadows you know like Spider <laughs> Spider Man Shattered Dimensions you know, I accepted <laughs> yeah I, and I was fine with that to be honest I was like you know what I love these games in their own little way they're not masterpieces but I love them same thing with Harry Potter where I'm, I have very fond memories of playing yeah, those, those games. original mm -hmm. games on my uh, game that's a Source, good comparison and Sorcerer Stone on the PC. Mm. Ooh, so good. Chamber of Secrets. Chamber, no, Chamber of Secrets is a great game. Yeah. I will go to the grave saying Sorcerer's Chamber of Secrets. Son was great. very good too. That yeah, was a great was okay. game. It was a great I, game. I, I played that on PlayStation 1, and uh, that uh, was fine. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets felt like that felt like um <laughs> Dark Souls to Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> but, <That's embarrassing. laughs> but yeah, no, but the last time a game trailer really got me was that Spider-Man reveal. Where I'm like, okay, so it's Insomniac, and obviously Insomniac has a different pedigree, but like Insomniac's making a Spider-Man game and it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I'm sitting here watching this trailer like, I don't know who the fuck the studio is per se, but this game looks fucking incredible. And I'm sorry, there's only so much you can fake until you make, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we've seen games, like, I, the one I always point to is Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, you, I remember watching that EA trailer 
thinking. Don't remind oh, me. <laughs> I don't even think games look like that even to this day. <laughs> I think they do if you like are on PC and have everything not a, on Mac. No, but not as dynamic. No, no, but not as dynamic as everything was in that. Like it was not just the graphics, because yeah, graphics have progressed farther. Mm-hmm. It was like the amount of effects that were going on in that. Like it was like all of the games do that lighting like that even to this day. Mm-hmm. They needed you know? a Ubisoft scaler. They needed it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but but I I'm watching this and I'm like. This is way more done than I thought it was. One. Agreed. Where I'm like, this looks legit like it could come out tomorrow. I was expecting this to look a lot rougher than it actually looked. It I wouldn't looked say incredible. I wouldn't say come out tomorrow. I, I thought it would don't get me wrong. I thought the game looked great. It was mm-hmm. giving me as a casual, casual Harry Potter fan. Um, I it gave me everything I wanted. You can do potions. You can do. Uh, you can fly on your broomstick. You can cast spells, have duels, all of that. Like it was giving yeah. everything to me. But when they first showed the combat, I was, I did get a little like, I don't know. It, it, something about the combat didn't look great to me. And I think if they can tighten that part up, then it will succeed on everything else. Like everything else is I, there. Here's my thought about the combat. I, I graded on a curve because if it were to be like, you can't insert Dark Souls combat in here. You can't insert, you know, you can't insert, um, which we're called God of War combat. In here. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And all of those, if you think about all the other combat systems, they all follow a very similar format. You have up close, you have far, like long distance. Mm-hmm. You can't really do sh- close range combat in Harry Potter. Like, that yeah. would not look right. I've literally seen, like, all the movies, and I can't think of one time where they're, like, not using their wands. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying give <laughs> give every student a sword. <laughs> sort of you know, I, I know you're not. I know you're not, but I'm saying, like, as far as what I thought this combat was going to be, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is perfect. Where it's mm-hmm. like, I do think the one thing they didn't show is the HUD that's going to be obviously in the game? Yeah, yeah. There's going to be, be a, some there's going to be a hub that shows some you sort of mana bar, maybe. Well, I don't know because all it is is spells. We'll see. There, I mean, you're gonna. I feel like you're gonna have to have a little spell wheel. You know, you're gonna have to have mm-hmm. a little like you know, like cross thing where it has different spells. I imagine it, that going to be like though? hard to do. Is it though? Because what I was thinking, what would actually make the combat stand out a little bit more to me would be are we going to get some fighting game type combos where if i hit it back and square then it's this spell but if i hit this combo then it's this spe- spell like that oh, kind oh of oh god I, oh god i hope not. <laughs> oh god i, hope, I mean i, hope I would be happy. i hope it's as simple i hope it's as simple as possible just me personally i hope it literally is just map it to a button there's and... too many spells for that though you pick your spells. You go, you go with a loadout. You have four. You mm-hmm. pick four, depending on That's the situation fair. you're in. And hell, what if they're freely like changeable? You mm-hmm. know, yeah. Like how Horizon does it, where it's like you have like you can have all these weapons. You can That's only equip a, a couple. You know. Yeah. So, and but you like, can always what? pause and change. You yeah. Know? Oh, you know what? That is a great idea. Implement a Horizon. Forbidden West specifically type of mm-hmm. spell wheel because even with that spell wheel in Horizon you can have what like fifteen different arrows types you might have like yeah. six different actual weapons but there's like sub sub categories of each and that would right. work great yeah I think that would be pretty great I th- I would I would highly recommend they do that if I mean at this point they've already done it right <laughs> so, but well, I. Are have they? Because we still have how many months? We still it's it's targeting holiday. I would like to long think, time. I would hope that the game is relatively done, at right. least from a spell wheel perspective. Like that. Can you hear me? That's a big yes. We, we sure can. can. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. We got the Duke of Rock League back. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we were just talking about the spell. The um, the sp- what they're going to do as far as spell ring goes. But your initial thoughts on this trailer? Yeah. What do you? Think? Um. So I want to go back to your combat. 
the combat looks like it hits nice. Like That's it's long it. distance combat, but you could see that punctual like hit, like almost like boom, boom, boom. It was but, also the animations that yeah, sold me too. Yeah, like it, was it awesome. looks like the, it didn't look corny. It looked like they're legit yeah. casting spells, and each, I did and like, each, like little hand movements different. Oh, the, the parry, parry was that gr- parry really great. cool. Yeah, absolutely. But but the downside combat is by the time we got to the trailer, it started looking very repetitive. I mean. Mm-hmm. Very repetitive, you know what I mean? Well, um, uh, yeah, so I can, but I can the agree, animations yeah. in this were incredibly impressive. Like, I thought they were so awesome. And, like, when you were walking through, like, they were going to those spell rooms and those, like, pots, those vats of, like, all these spells and the mm-hmm. effects and stuff were, that was incredibly impressive, too. Mm-hmm. It's also, and it's just, it's like, also, everything mm-hmm. kept impressing me more and more and more and more throughout the whole trailer. Same here. And it also... <laughs> How they were implementing the lore into gameplay was like chef's kiss. Yeah. When they use when they show that the room of requirement is going to be a base building settlement, I was like, oh my god, very cool. I was like, oh my god, like that's like some shit you see in your dreams. Like the I, moment for me was when crazy. they in combat they pulled out the shrieking. Um, oh, the mandrake. The yeah, mandrake? the mandrake, and I was <laughs> that like, was that's cool. <laughs> that's cool as hell. Yeah, because <laughs> I'll never forget that. From I think that's Chamber of Secrets where they're in the mm. lab, where they're in the little guard, the garden place, and the, all the gar- the mandrakes are screaming. I'll never forget that moment, and mm. I'm like, yo, the. That's just the tip of the iceberg of all the references. Right. They are definitely, even with the trailer just showing it, they're definitely, I feel like they're definitely doing well in terms of fan service. And people are not going to be disappointed as fans going into this game, which I'm really excited for. And I was concerned about before we got the state of play. I also think that it, it doesn't retcon Harry Potter at all, it seems. But I like the fact, because I feel like the original, just reading the books, watching the movies, the original seven, eight, seven books, eight movies, they don't really focus on the magical beast like that. Like, that's mm-hmm. not a big thing. Right? They're, they're there, but that's not like, they're just there. It's not primary. It's not like the Fantastic Beast movies, but that's right. the point of the movies. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting that that's a big focus in this game. Like, that's a huge section of it. I'm like, they're kind of bridging the gap between those, those two. two. Exactly. And I'm like, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have the benefit of being able to take both, not only from Harry Potter, but from everything that's come after it, including the Fantastic Beasts. Right. And it's set in such a great time period, set in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. So it's like the lot, uh, like the rooms are the same. Like the Hogwarts rooms and stuff are the same. The layout of Hogwarts is the same, but it's going to look a little different. And mm-hmm. every room is going to be different. I am very curious if they are legit doing Hogwarts is like the entire castle is explorable. Yeah, they are. They are. They they said that. So did y'all watch the dev interview like after this? Yeah, mm-hmm. I watched it. Yep. And they, they they were basically like, you know, what makes what ties Harry Potter together? And they're like Hogwarts. It's, it's Hogwarts. And like they're going all in on Explore and everything. And like they were they were talking about how they had to figure out like in the movies you don't see it all, but they have to figure out how to build it out and connect everything. I think it's gonna be fully explorable. And like even at the end of the trailer, like walking on hogwarts is one of the most magical places in cinema history like i just it is it's incredible and for us to be able to explore that and then they show all the countryside too and then they show that you can ride a broom i was like are you kidding me and And it's getting better then they showed hogsmeade the town i was like oh my god this is awesome see that's where i get i'm like i don't know like i hope that it's as big as i think it's gonna be Mm -hmm. but but is this so too big though when they started showing the towns and outside of Hogwarts, I'm like, is ever is this is going to be as big as it's implying? Where it's like you're going to get all of Hogwarts, you're going to get all the countryside, you're going to get a town, maybe a couple towns. That's asking a lot. Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah, asking a lot. How the hell do they do this? Yeah, that's what I'm I like, don't know if they can. I, are we like you're saying? Are we gonna get I'm like the, in the loading screens, the invisible barriers of like needs to load into this new this new section instead of I like being that. fully I, open I, world? Y'all, and I they even that. said it's on Switch. Like, yeah, how the hell is yeah. this running on Switch? 
I, I mean, still, I still want D10. I, but they, they didn't say cloud though. That's that's the thing. They said it's a port, and I'm like, mm, I think hmm. they'll say it's a cloud eventually. <laughs> to me, if they don't say it's a cloud, I'm looking at this game a little differently. I know, and I, I don't because you know what the last you know what the last game that did that for me when they said the GTA um, trilogy is going to be on the Switch. I was like, mm. ooh, that definitely lowers the scope of what this is going to be. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I I hope to God it's the cloud version. <laughs> but if it's not, I'm like, so you're gonna put this on Switch and it's you're gonna be able to explore all of Hogwarts well, and the countryside. Some games though, they were able to do that older games. Witcher three? Like exactly. The Witcher Three. It ran terribly though, so <laughs> that's a fair one. And Witcher Three is a pretty vast game. I would say though, there's no interiors of the Witcher Three that are like Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. That interior like those interiors looked awesome. Some of the best I've like, ever seen. And look, maybe Ben will probably be able to speak better to this, but I feel like interiors are a lot more difficult. Detailed. To, yeah, like it's just a lot more going on there than just like an open vista. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't know. Like I'm, I am, I, I think this game impressed the hell out of me, but it has a case to me of it's too good to be true. I, I agree. <laughs> so and then, then they, y'all, then they threw on us the thing that I've been telling you guys I wanted. In, so many games for so long was a daggum um season system fall spring oh. summer winter mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like and they have that too i was like this is unbelievable they showed them walking down the the path and it turned into snow then it turned spring and autumn but, but it was at that moment that's why it made me start to think okay maybe this is that's when i threw my hat down I was open like, world game. living world as i think because yeah because that's I don't, the thing like i don't, I don't see I don't see anywhere where it says this is like an open, open world game. Right, right. But that's what's they funny. They call it an action RPG. Like that's I when I looked at the blog. No, it is open based. world. They showed it, they showed them flying around the huge open world in the broom. I mean, I yeah, no, no I, I think, think it's it gonna be, be open segmented. world, but like I don't know if the entire Hogwarts. Yeah. Well, is the only be reason like, you're saying that is because we just think that this there's no way they can accomplish this. <laughs> My like, thing is, yeah. I don't know many developers who would even be like maybe yeah. if you gave this to Rockstar. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna yeah, doubt okay. Rockstar. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But this even if my... you gave this to like Insomniac, I'd be like, really? Like no, inside, you're, you're gonna do the entire. You're gonna craft mm-hmm. Hogwarts. And, I, that's a lot. Say this, but, this, but if they did, this. if Insomniac released this trailer, I would be hyped beyond belief because I'd be like, okay, I can see them doing this. If Ubisoft had it, I would say, okay, I can see this. This actually happening. This looks incredible. But mm-hmm. with this, these dudes behind this, I just don't trust it. It's because we've been burned so many damn times. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna get burned again, and I hate to get burned on this because. It looks unbelievable. This the might trailer, be the best. This might be the, the best a- like preview I've oh. ever seen. Truthfully, yeah. yes, yeah, definitely. Which probably is credited to the fact that we've gotten this game has gotten delayed so many times. It's yeah, been sure. rumored since years ago, and they pu- it was supposed to be revealed last year, and then they put out that letter saying it had to get moved, and I think that helped it to get to this more final state. To now, we've seen it in its most complete form <laughs> it leaked a long uh, time ago I, I i remember i like to yeah. say like 27 the character creator i, believe I remember that leaked out and i was like and they and they all because everybody already knew that harry potter rpg is being made mm-hmm. but that was the first time where we got glimpses of it and so it's like to see what that was now seeing what this is now i'm like mm-hmm. that is a huge jump I if this game delivers, oh my god! Like the sky, like I know we talk about Elden Ring and how big of a success Elden Ring is, but it's God, a Harry, a Harry Potter, Potter yeah. open world game. Imagine if it gets high Metacritics. You know, like God. Look, if it delivers on everything that it has promised, this will be one of the highest reviewed games of all time. I feel like it just can't deliver. We're gonna see the same. I mean, it won't for it. Uh, Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know where I think that we're gonna see the seams. You know where I just have, I just can see from this. I feel like we're gonna see a whole bunch of incomplete reviews for it. I, that's, I, I think know. we're gonna mm-hmm. see. I think we're gonna see a game that has an incredible castle, an incredible, a pretty open world. Mm-hmm. But I, I think at the end of the day, I think it's gonna graphically under maybe not quite live up to this. Like 
kind of what Alfredo was I getting didn't, at before. Yeah, but I, I didn't see that, was, though. No, yeah, I, I, I agree. I don't see it. I, I agree. But this is what I think is happening. I but think that, remember, Watch Dogs. Don't get yeah, burned. Yeah, Watch Dogs. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's gonna. But like, I feel like that's a little different because I don't like with PlayStation. Like, even that because well, no, because I well, guess Microsoft did it for Cyberpunk. Yeah, hey, and PlayStation hung their hat on uh, No Man's Sky pretty hard too before it came out. That's true that's too. True. Yeah. Okay. That's true too. So 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 um, I think that where we're gonna see the cracks. I think the the, the open world might look incredible. It might be, you know, all that might be fine. But I think the story. I mean the quest, like the quest line and quest structure is going to suffer. I was oh, going to say sure. the opposite, actually, because I I thought from what they showed of the story, it's way more intriguing than I thought it would be. Like the underlying story, it it seems like they are taking delicate care of the story and are not making it like a second thought to the combat and to just exploring the world. It seems like there is an actual quest that seems intriguing enough. And with villains and characters that are very Harry Potter is very, very in that world. It seems like they're paying really good attention to the stories that were already told in that world and this story. So I, I actually think that the story is going to be pretty good. I, I don't think it it's going to ge- be like an HBO drama type of story, but I think it will be very good in terms of what we would come to expect for a Harry Potter story. I just need to be average. Like it does not even have to be that great because just being in the world, like y'all know, I don't, I don't think, I think Cole was there for it. When we were talking about open world, like what makes open world game for us. And my main thing is traversal. You can't. Well, the, broom, the broom looks incredible. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell me that's not the perfect way to traverse a world like yeah. that by itself. When I saw how it worked and I was it like, looked Oh, good. it looked, it looked good. impressive. That's so fair, I, yeah. So I'm like, just from that standpoint, this game has won me over on so many fronts. It just seems too good to be true. Like, and that's for, the only thing for me. In for an open world, I feel like it's different for this one because it's not just an open world, but it's an open world Harry Potter world where, okay, you can have an average story, but if you include, like, a story section where we get to fly through uh, Gringotts or, like, the bank or, like, these iconic... Harry Potter. Oh, they already set, shown that. Basically. They already shown that. Yeah, yeah that then that's gonna yeah. that's gonna put it higher than anything else because like it's something we've always wanted to do. When, do and we get when to do I it. when we saw the Chamber of Secrets like lit up like it's daytime in there, mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna play with the lore in terms of like show important locations, but in new lights. Right. Yeah. They're so only a lot. They can't change anything. They can't change anything. Like they're right. Like you even see, like as soon as the logo comes up, it says Wizarding World right there. And that's right. the brand, that's the brand that pretty much like keeps everything in line. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's not like it's consistent with the canon. Exactly. So they're gonna it's gonna be consistent with the canon. That means this is ultimately gonna be a filler story, but not Which all filler is bad. Yeah, not as all filler is bad. Yeah, as as long as it's serviceable, but as long as in the story you get brought to all of these different iconic locations where you get to interact with those things. And I think that will put it over like as a critical darling. What do we think sales might be? <laughs> I can't say yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just I I'll I'm gonna say some I'm gonna say. 30 million. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going I'm I'm to wait a little bit before. I, I don't know. I, I will Harry say, Potter is huge. And people yeah, who are yeah, buy yeah. It will like, be buying the skin. No, I agree. I mean, I'm, dude, this is this could be huge. I'm, I think this could potentially be the biggest game of the year. Yep. Um, well, obviously, it will come out. If it comes out late, it will go into the next calendar year. Mm-hmm. I think it could be the biggest game because. I can't think of a last time a licensed property has been given care like this. Besides Spider Man, and Spider Man, you and and honestly, like who knows what Spider Man would sell if it was multi platform? Like who knows? Yeah, yeah. that Did game already think? is the highest selling like play. Like Miles Morales is already the, one of the highest selling PlayStation games ever. Mm-hmm. So it's like that game would sell crazy if it was on Xbox on PC. This is on everything. Do y'all think WB, WB, WB just said, you have an open checkbook? 
this is our most important franchise and y'all just make this thing unbelievable. And they gave them seven years to do it. And they said, hire who you have to do. Like, I want to hear, I want to hear, we need a write up on this game. I need to know what, what happened behind this, behind the scenes on this. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, they have a lot to talk about. I mean, they had a whole lot of drama with this game to start off. They lost this director. I think it lost two directors actually. Hmm. So there is a lot of story with this game. It leaked really early in development. So we've we've heard about this game for so long. When did it, it almost first leak? What year was that? I think 2017. Ooh. Yeah, I think that long yeah, ago. Around there. Really? It's been I a think while. it was around the time the Switch came out. Five years ago. And it looked good then. I remember thinking everybody was pretty hype on it when, it, when that leaked. I was. I was like, yeah, I, I was like, awesome. Like, I was like, just give me this. Just give me, just give me the leaked version right now. Like I'm good mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. But no, I'm glad they got to refine this. I'm glad that it is looking like a a game of the year contender, which I wasn't expecting it to be. That I wasn't mm-hmm. expecting it to be that good. I thought it was going to be. I'm going to play this because Harry Potter game, and right. you know, I'm probably going to like it. This looks like it. Like I have not seen. It honestly reminds me of a modern day bully. Like, I don't know yeah. if y'all played Bully. Yeah, before. yeah it mm-hmm. does. If, if this game lives up to, to what we've seen, it'll be my game of the year, probably. Now, looks, that brings me to my that's a, that's question. A that's, that's a bold statement. It's a bold statement, but it's, it's also a very tall task to live up to what it showed us. I mean, but I, but I have true. a question for you guys regarding that. Do okay. you think it'll make the holiday No, well, this, gets, this gets delayed till till next year. It better. It's, it's on my list. Like it. It's on you, my list. Oh, you want it to really? <laughs> better. I'm, I am biased. I am admittedly biased. It, it better. I will be going to the studio if it doesn't. <laughs> I'm like, guys, we got to get this going. I got fantasy points on the line. Come on. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know. I. I also feel like it will get delayed, like into early 2023. But at the same time, it's it's had so much time already. Yeah, I'm and like, it looks I feel good. Like it's. I feel like it's been in the oven for so long. Mm-hmm. I feel like the other delays were very reasonable delays. Right. You know, I feel like it looks pretty ready. Now, obviously, we don't it know. Does. Obviously, game behind the scenes, it, they can show us a vertical slice of anything, but it looked pretty ready. Like there been, I remember when I first saw Breath of the Wild, and I was like, "Oh, that's probably gonna get delayed." I remember where I first saw it, I was like it looks good, but that does not look done. You know, and it's like it is completely different than the last trailer they showed where I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, that's not getting delayed. That's that's going to hit that date. This look more like it's going to hit that. It's going to hit that period. Because why not? This could th- they, I mean, they, if, Go- the if Gotham thing- Nights gets delayed, this is going to be the only game Warner Brothers like their releases that's going to be of any substance. Yeah, I, I could see them just putting out a statement saying the game needs more polish to live up to the Harry Potter fans expectations or something like that. OK, All here's stop. some oh, stats oh. for you guys. Go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, the last thing. Warner Brothers is in the middle of a merger right now. With who? Um, AT&T? No, Discovery bought them. Oh, Ooh, that's weird. I think AT&T already owned them. I think Let's they sold them to Discovery. And so I think that when, but just to say that, just my point is with that is, I think if you get new ownership, they're going to want to just ship this out. Hmm. But you're going to you're going to want to have those sales numbers look real good going into the next fiscal year. Listen to this. This is pretty crazy. Okay, uh-huh. PlayStation YouTube, right? Your number one video on PlayStation YouTube is the PlayStation Four. I guess the PlayStation Four trailer nine years ago, forty one million views. Second. Is the PS5 hardware reveal trailer mm-hmm. 39 the million? That's the years. best video of all time. That was a great one. <laughs> that, that, was was good, a great, that, was good. that was a great but, video. <laughs> but the, the, the PS4 beat it. Okay, so the PS4 beat that. 41, 39. The number three video on PlayStation YouTube is the Hogwarts Legacy official reveal trailer from a year ago. Oh. 20, 28 million views. Damn. What I say? That's number 30 three. million. Okay, number four. Marvel Spider Man E3 trailer 2016. Wow. Okay. Then you got God of War, the PS4 trailer, M- Marvel Spider Man 2, God of War, official PlayStation used game instructional video where they burned Xbox. That's that's up there. <laughs> um, the Last of Us Part 2. So, the last one, to put it in perspective, The Last of Us Part 2 gameplay reveal trailer, 18 million. 
Hmm. Hogwarts Legacy, $28 million. This game could be massive. Yeah. I mean, besides superheroes and Star Wars, what's a bigger property than Harry Potter? Exactly. Which is no, why I think... Nothing. And this is like what... Maybe, maybe Lord of the Rings, and I feel like that's a push. Yeah. I feel like that's... Oh, a, I feel like Lord, that's... Lord of the Rings doesn't touch Harry Potter. I don't think. I feel like what it's best it's, it's it pretty does... High. Yeah, I feel like what it's best... Because I feel like once that little... That series comes out, yeah, it's gonna be a, I, and we I don't and we've never gotten a true Lord of the Rings game. I mean, oh, we had some really good Lord of Rings. PS2 days, we had some really good Lord of the Rings. Games. Yeah, yeah, but we, that's like, King. but that no, but so that's good. like saying that we got a bunch of Harry Potter games for PS2. You know, yeah, it's you're like, right. yeah. or, or like saying we got a bunch of Spider Man games too. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, like those games were cool, but, but I not, haven't. I feel like people have been calling for a I, Harry Potter good game product. Yes, so long. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I, also, I also I want to real real quick shout out uh, Shadow of War, Lord of the Rings game, which people love, made by W. Those are not Lord of the Rings games because they only <laughs> focus on Mordor. Like I I'm mean, like, yeah, I'm just saying. No, I, I, they're, they're, good, game. they're good games. They're good. I love those games. Like I love I I think I platinum Shadow of Mordor, and I love um I be I played a good portion of Shadow of War. I think they're great games. But they do that universe a disservice because yeah, that universe yeah. is begging for an open world game. And that game is, you know, just Mordor. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think I think that a Lord of the Rings game could get a similar pop to Hogwarts Legacy if they did yes, it the same I way. I agree. I agree. But I do think Harry Potter, besides Star Wars and the superhero, I feel like, you know. Obviously, Spider-Man, Batman, Superman. Besides those, Harry Potter is the biggest like media franchise. I feel like it's even bigger than superheroes, to be honest, Harry Potter. No, it's not bigger than Spider-Man or Batman. Harry Potter transcends It's bigger than Superman, lot. I'll give you that. Uh, it's bigger than Superman, not Batman. I don't think it's bigger than Marvel. Marvel Marvel's more popular than Harry Potter. I don't I, it know. On the, it depends on the Since hero. 2008. Since 2008, I think so. I don't know. Maybe I like, think you guys maybe are Iron Man and like Thor. I but like I wouldn't put a, a Doctor Strange thing above Harry Potter. You know? I, I know I wouldn't either, but I'm just I saying you, Marvel in general. I just... think you guys are very severely under under underestimating how big the Harry Potter fan base oh, I'm is. Not. I'm not. I'm just I, saying no, that look, I think Mar I think it's kind of unfair to say Marvel because like are we including Spider-Man in that? I think Star Wars is the yeah. biggest, then Marvel. And actually, I think you make a, an argument that Marvel is actually more popular than Star Wars now. I think Marvel's one, Star Wars is two, Harry Potter's three. And I think Harry and Potter. I don't even is, think there's anyone else in number four even so close. Here's to three. the here's the problem with that thing, though. Because you're right about that ranking, I feel. When's the last Star Wars movie we had? Hey, I, that's why I 20, said Marvel hopped up. That's why Marvel hopped over them. No, and that's not even my point. Like, 2019 was the last Star Wars movie, right? Yeah. The last Marvel movie was when? Like, like a few weeks ago. <laughs> what was the last Harry Potter Mar movie? Yeah. And it's Ten third. Years Two or three, <laughs> three years ago? Three years ago, probably. No. Fantastic oh, Beasts. Oh, Fantastic Beasts. That doesn't count, though. Yeah, that's I don't know. Movie. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but nah. It's like, nah. Well, it's, it's like, over, though. But that's like, that's Harry like Potter saying, is over. That's it's like saying solo. That's like saying like solo is a Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, but you you know what we're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, well, that's over. Like that generation's over. The story's done. They're not gonna go back to. But Daniel Radcliffe's not coming back. But I mean, like no. Fantastic Beasts is more of a side story. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like how Solo is a side story. It's a which kind of sucks about Harry Potter. Like that they can't continue the story. I mean, I guess she might one day. They can. Know. They can. I don't think she'd write the books. I think they would just release them simultaneously. Yeah. I mean, the it's kind of like the sales would be crazy no matter what. And I feel like they would want to get it out. It's kind of like what they that? did with um, the eighth, the Harry Potter play, The Cursed Child, where J.K. Rowling didn't exactly write it, but she like she approved it, and it's like the eighth story. It's, Could you it's imagine? Like I think it's it like the seventh be... and a half. It would almost be, it wouldn't be quite as hype, but it would be almost as hype as whenever Disney bought Star Wars and announced that they are going forward with 7, 8, 9. And now is a great time to buy the Harry Potter. If you could buy the Harry Potter IP from J.K. Rowling, 
and and get separate yourself from all that controversy. What if Disney bought Harry Potter? Oh, I would be all for no, that. No, yeah. no, <laughs> no, no, they have enough. They have enough coal. They have enough coal. We can't do that. They can't <laughs> own the one, two, and three media <laughs> IP in the world. You can't do that. I mean, they can, but... No, no. Yeah, enough so, is enough. I was with you until you said this. <laughs> just keep it with Warner Brothers. Like, maybe Warner Brothers yeah. can just buy it out. Maybe George yeah. Lucas wants to buy. Give it to Warner Brothers. Like George boom. Lucas is on a ranch. Chilling. <laughs> like, he's not doing anything. But yeah, I think that just besides the point, I think that this game, I think it has the potential to outsell a Call of Duty. I really do. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I think this game is going, if it, even if it gets like eights, mm-hmm. I think that's enough. No, if it I, gets I, eights, I, that's enough. If it gets eights, if it can score 8.0 or above, it would be huge. Look, I As said long- 30 million, guys. Mark my words. This is going to be an Elden Ring type release in terms of sales. I think is it's it, gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna be a bit bigger than Elden Ring. Even if, though Elden if, Ring is the sky's the limit for Elden Ring, I think Harry Potter is a different entity. But but no. But here's the here's the caveat. It will be bigger than Elden Ring and or an Elden Ring type release if it delivers. If this stumbles and falls mm-hmm. and it's not good, it's not gonna carry. It's not. You know what's crazy? It will. I'll think I it think delivers. no. I think even if it stumbles and falls, it's still going to be like a top five selling game of the year. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be. Yeah, it'll be a top as five long as it year. gets like seven, at, at least. Because then my thing is, be great. and look, it's a different topic, and we're not gonna get too deep into it. Who knows what these reviews are gonna entail? That's true. That's all, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Like, who, true who knows right. how these reviews are going to be handled? Yeah, I'm losing. Right. I'm losing trust by the day that it's going to get a fair shake. Mm. Ooh, you're right about that. I didn't think about that. That's very Me true. Either actually. So we'll, it's very we'll see. True. We'll see in regards to that. I have faith, but it's definitely like visions of grandeur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! Any closing thoughts? Anybody? Not? Or I think we're all excited, right? Yes, very. I hope Ben's excited too. I hope Taylor's excited too. But this has been the Dukes of Gaming. Again, you can listen to us on your favorite podcast service or watch us on YouTube. Leave a like, a review, a comment, anything to help support the show. You can even email us at therealdukesofgaming at gmail.com. Have your question read live on air. We will answer it off top. Hit the bell as well to get notifications for when we release our latest videos. We post everywhere, every week. So make sure you start your week right with the Dukes of Gaming. And with all that being said, I bid thee fair.